Hello guys, welcome back. Watch me predict the future. Somewhere somebody is already making black rods to sell on Etsy because it's going to become a thing, especially in America, because Americans and anything foreign, that's why. Um, remember, I studied English, so it didn't surprise me to see this. It's like one of those things you know about and you forget about, and I'm like, Etsy. I bet that steal her look is already up on Pinterest. I bet it is. Um, and you'll probably see for BBC America, you'll probably see a mini drama, just just so you know. Just so you know. And we watched Parliament Close, and I won't remark on that because I'm American, other than I rather enjoyed the sing along. I'm not sure what was going on, but Wales and Scotland had a sing along and it was rather lovely. Um I don't know what's going on, and I'll admit it. I'm an American. I'm confused. I'm allowed to be confused because I'm American. That's our perpetual state of being, confusion. Um, and our government's going kitty wampus as well. People keep getting fired and the president will lie and say, oh, I told them they were going to be fired and they'll be on the news. No, he did not. He did not tell me I was going to be fired. I'm fired. He fired somebody today that was supposed to make a speech a couple hours later. Oops. Um, yeah, you don't schedule a speech if you know you're not going to be there. Our government has some semblance of efficiency. So, yeah, um, if you disagree with the president, you get fired is what happens in this country. Well, with this president. So, um, and I have to say that if a uh, advisor tells you that the Taliban at Camp David isn't a good thing, you might want to listen to that advisor. Just doing whatever you want might be American, but it's also why the country is the way it is. So, I <laughs> heard, ooh, savage! Um, we have recklessness and a lack of common sense as our guiding virtues at times, and it's not always the best thing. It's why you have advisors in the government, damn it, because there are some people with cooler heads, with experience, that will tell you this would be a wise thing to do, this wouldn't. Don't bother getting advisors and not listen to them. That's, that's beyond stupidity, because if you're going to get an advisor... Here I go again. And have them give you good counsel, or what they think is good counsel. And you're going to act out against it like a child because you don't want to be told what to do. You shouldn't be in a leadership position. I'm sorry, but you shouldn't. So, and that goes for any president. We've always had presidents that get these advisors and these cabinets and everything, and they say, oh, I've, I've built... Th and then they don't listen to them, and then they hate them, and then they're stupid, and then they're firing them because... What they really want is a bunch of yes-men that every time the president comes up with some damn full idea, they'll agree with them. Okay. <laughs> I look, he's back here like, that's been in there a while, hasn't it? And in further news, they contacted me back about the book because I wrote them and I said, um, you know, it's past your shipping date, which it was. The shipping date was supposed to be Friday. And I said, could you please cancel my order if you don't have it in stock? And somebody got back to me and said, well, I've personally looked into this. Your book is processing. Which may mean that they're going to wait until they have a big enough order. Because they did give themselves a month's window to ship. Which I don't like because that's not what their shipping thing says. Their shipping thing says it will ship within three days, business days of payment. And... It will get to you within like so many days, but they give themselves a month. So she told me, you know, if you don't see shipping information in a couple of days, contact me. And I'm like, well, I don't think they have this book because they didn't have a picture. But um, it's my own full fault for trying to save two whole frickin' dollars and being like, oh, oh watch me save money. Um, I should have just went with Amazon and they had an actual copy, but no, I had to save two whole frickin' dollars. So there we are. Actually, I saved more than that because the total was what the book's base cost was on Amazon, so I don't know. And I thought I talked to Odin for a while, but I don't. And I don't know quite who I was hunting last night. Um, obviously. If you deal with Odin, Odin will turn everything to Odin's advantage. It's rather like working with Loki, where you don't all ever really know you're being told the truth. If Odin sees you like something, or you're into it, Odin will very rapidly usually adapt to that. Except for when he's being stubborn and willful, and then you can't do anything with him. 
And, you know, I, I told him because he was like, well, you never told me this. I said, all the time I told you, you just don't listen to words you don't want to hear. That's your main problem. And um, I think it both fascinates him that I'm not in God all of him and he he's thinking of a deaf curse. I think it's both. It's like I kind of, I always feel like I'm teetering on this edge and I could fall either way, either into a blessing or a curse because I can tell I work his last nerve. But I said, that's my personality. I'm not going out of my way to hurt you. I said, what is it? I said, no offense, old father. But I said, what is it about you that when your brother takes someone, you think you have to come over too? I said, usually people meant to be with your brother are nothing like you. No offense, but we're not. I said, we might have a lot of similarities, but we're more, much more like Loki. Like, I understand and I appreciate why Odin's not letting me do anything and go about and, you know, be a libertine with my money. But I said, it doesn't mean I still won't resent you. That's just how I'm built. I said, I understand very well what's going on. But I said, you know, in the back of my mind, this is a sticking point for us. I said, I can't see why you can't just give me financial blessings and I could go do as I wish. And he's giving me this murderous look that, you know, Munir might be involved in this. And I said, I don't care. I'm sick and tired of hearing all these women write all these books and say how many blessings you've given them and how many gifts you've given them and how, how you know, how much fabulosity is in their life now. And they've written all these books and they've known you for all this time. And I just, I really let them have it with both barrels because I, I have this thing where I'm, hideously polite up to a point but then when you finally ask for the truth you'll get it and it won't be varnished and <laughs> look he's like mm -hmm. and Ferg had asked me to make peace with him and I tried but I got up this morning and I could feel this ill will and I don't know if it who it was that wanted me to hunt them yesterday I do know that a lot of Scotland's coming up in in my periphery I mean I don't look for Scotland. I, nothing against Scotland. I love Scotland. I don't look for Scotland on Pinterest, but I don't know if it's... Do I pin some place in Scotland or something because I'm getting coat of arms and I'm getting the plaids and I'm getting like all this stuff they think I know. Um, Maybe they're all attached like YouTube and Pinterest and everything. I don't rightly know, but all of a sudden I'm getting everything from Scotland. And then um, when the parliament closed, they were singing, you know, songs from Scotland. So I'm like, okay, it's just, it's something. But I don't quite know who wanted hunted. Um, I, I assume Odin wants to take credit for being the god that wanted hunted, but this doesn't feel right. And I went to light the candle today, and there was a teeny bit of wax left in it. should have burned for five or ten minutes, but it didn't. Um, I don't think Odin wanted me to continue this hunt, and I don't think Loki wanted me to continue this hunt either, and you know how obstinate and willful I am. Um, so I do have the hunt rune, I do have that, and I save that, and I'm just, I'm going to think about it for a while and try to think about who it was. Um, maybe there's a god that's better suited for me. I know it's not Odin, as well as we try to get along, as well as friendship we try to extend to each other i'm just extremely willful at times and so is he and you can't put two people like that in the same room i think it fascinates him like i said that i i don't have that god all of him and i probably don't have nearly as much respect as i should but that's just how i am i don't care i will argue with anyone I will fight anyone. Um, it's part of my nature. I'm hearing, yeah, because you're stupid. That's right. <laughs> and, um, it's just, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, I'm grateful I have food on the table, but I'd like to be able to get whatever food I want when I want. And I'm grateful I have all the stuff I do. But it, at the same time, I'm a little pissed off and agitated and chafing because there's all these people that will go, oh, he blessed me so much and everything, especially with Odin. I said, it just sets me off. I said, I know damn well why it sets me off because of my um, lovely family. You had to compete and fight and scrap for every little bit of affection or attention or anything you got. And it was, if you didn't have your family's favor, you weren't getting anything. And they would never turn it to, to you if you begged or shouted or yelled. It was just this mysterious thing that they handed out at will. 
So I think I'm just not suited for Odin. I really don't think I am. Um, and he's been gracious and he's been kind enough, but I said, we're just, we're not suited for each other. I did take him on a hunt last night because I wanted to go on a hunt. I wanted to try to hunt some, um, footage for you guys, but it's just this thing of, we can get along and we get along for a while and then he's argumentative because he's Odin and he's snapping, he's snarlish and I got up this morning and just felt oh, because you know Odin and he's just been snappy and snarlish all day that when I felt him and I'm like I think I'll take up this hunt again I know Loki is not amused but Loki's never amused about anything when his brother's in a bad mood. And Loki's actually backing me up on this. He said, I told him that the two of you couldn't get along. He said, I, I knew your natures are in one way too alike and too different. He said, he just, you know, um, none of our gods are perfect in the sense of the perfect, unchanging deity that knows everything. And I just seem to bring out the worst in Odin. He seems to bring out the worst in me. And it's like... Um, you know, those bad Hollywood marriages you see. And I said, uh, you know, just out of kindness's sake, uh, we shouldn't be together. I have a whole list and I really don't know who I'm hunting. And, you know, there are tons of gods that could fit that. And Scotland has been coming up and there's certainly a blue tartan that has blue and black in it. And I don't know enough about the Scottish pantheon of what would have been the native gods of Scotland. So I, I really don't know. I know a lot of people will say, oh, just Celtic, whatever. But I know nothing of it. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I know Odin would like to be here. And I told him he'll always have a welcome and he'll be welcomed as a friend. And, you know, I'll feed him and all that. But I said, um... I don't think we're meant to be together and work in the long term because I said we just don't seem to be able to work well together. He's too strong minded and so am I. Um, Loki and I get along because I can talk to Loki however I want. We can curse each other out. We can tell each other where to go and we can have a big old fight and Loki doesn't take it personally and I don't. And if somebody does get hurt we apologize and we know at the end of the day, we have each other's back. I wouldn't dare talk to the old father the way I talk to Loki. So it's a lot of frustration. It's a lot of holding stuff back because, um, you know, Odin. So, you know, it's just to, you know, reading the books, I guess it's a hurt and a blow to the pride to hear these women go on and on about all these wonderful experiences they had and I thought I just got a cranky old bastard is what I got and you know they're talking about this great mystical relationship that's gone on for like a decade and I'm like I just have a cranky old bastard who hates me probably wants me to die why did I get this misfortune what did I do what god did I piss off so I don't know um if you want a cranky old bastard I'll sell him to you in fact you can have him I will pay you to take him and if you guys like what you see like comment and subscribe and I'll see you later bye bye